Welcome to the new Avenue Courseware. This video will provide useful bridging information to ease the transition to Avenue Courseware for language professionals already using the Link Courseware. There are some new features and improvements to the new version of our learning management system designed to meet the needs and respond to suggestions from teachers just like you. The Avenue site is located at Avenue. Ca. Once at the Avenue site, instructors click on Login in the top right corner. The Avenue login screen appears. This is where you enter your username and password. Your username is now an email address. The Avenue site administrator will confirm the correct email address to use, as well as your password. Please note that you can no longer change your password, so remember it and protect it from others. Contact the Avenue Site Administrator if you have difficulty logging into Avenue. The Avenue portal appears. The top links include Classroom, Links, and Logout. And the Classroom menu link takes you to the Avenue dashboard. As soon as you log in, you will notice some differences. You can see here that your dashboard is still your home page. The navigation block has been replaced by the new navigation drawer. It can be shown or hidden by clicking on the vertical ellipsis icon at the top left corner of the Avenue screen. This icon replaces the dock on dock icons that used to show and hide the administration block on EduLink. The main area of the dashboard appears as several blocks. At the top, you can see the recently accessed courses block. This helps you quickly go to courses that you use often. In all of the course views, card, list, and summary, the course category appears above the course name. On the dashboard, there are other familiar blocks. These are the upcoming events block, the calendar block, and the course overview block. In the course overview block, you can change the order of appearance of the courses by course name or last accessed. You can also change the display of the courses to appear as a card, a list, or a summary. In this block, you can show or hide each course on your dashboard by choosing the ellipsis icon or star a course to indicate it as important. To show the navigation drawer, just click on the vertical ellipsis again. The navigation drawer includes many site administrative features, including the calendar, your private files, and a course link, as well as an add a block function that is hidden. To add more blocks to your dashboard, click on the Customize This Page icon. The link Add a Block appears at the bottom of the navigation drawer. There are more than 15 different blocks that you can add to your dashboard. At this time, we will just close the Add a Block pop-up. All blocks appear on the right side of the screen. Unlike EduLink and Avenue, teachers will not be able to insert blocks on the left side of the screen. Notice that you can move or customize each block on your dashboard page. To return to the dashboard, click on the Stop Customizing This Page button. To the right of the Avenue logo is the Notifications icon. It looks like a bell. Notifications let you know if you have different kinds of notices, such as assignment submissions, new forum posts, or questionnaire submissions from your students. These can be set to arrive in email or posted on your web page by choosing the Notifications Preferences icon. There are many notifications that can come from all of your courses. On this example, there are no notifications shown. If you have notifications, the number of notifications appears above the icon. To the right of the notifications icon, we see the messaging icon. 
Click on it and it opens up the messaging drawer. The messaging drawer has many settings that allow you to control who can send you a message and if you want, email notifications. There is no longer a messaging block. Just use the messaging icon to send and receive all of your messages. Hide the message settings by clicking on the arrow icon. In the messaging drawer, messages are grouped by starred, these are messages that are important to you, group messages, or private messages. At any time, to return to the dashboard, click on the dashboard link in the navigation drawer on the left. At the top right, you can choose FR to change the French content. You or your learner should not click on this. Beside the messaging icon is the logged in, logged out area. This is easily recognized by seeing your name or your avatar. Click on it to reveal a drop down menu. The drop down menu reveals links to the dashboard, the gradebook, an additional link to Avenue messages, your Avenue preferences, and the logout link. New to this drop down is the switch role to link. This was in the administration block in the EduLink courseware. Use the switch to role to understand how students see the course. What has changed for my courses? Let's see. In the navigation drawer, we will select a course. In this video, we are using a sample Link 3 course. Look upwards to the breadcrumbs menu. Notice that the first link is the dashboard followed by the course link. In the navigation drawer, note that the course topics appear below the course name. Also, at the top of the navigation drawer, three links appear. These are participants, badges, and grades. These features are the same as in EduLink. In the main section of the course page, many features are the same. In Avenue Courses, all blocks appear on the right side of the screen. Unlike EduLink, in Avenue, teachers will not be able to insert blocks on the left side of the screen. The Courseware Help block is positioned at the top of the page for easy access. Under the Courseware Help block, other blocks can appear. In the upper right corner of the course area, where the Turn Editing On button used to appear in EduLink, there is now a gear icon. This is formerly known as the Actions menu. This houses a lot of the teacher course management functions. Many of these functions have been moved from the old administration block. The Actions menu contains the Course Settings link, the Turn Editing On Off link, Gradebook Setup, Course Backup, Course Restore, Import, Reset Course, and more. Clicking on the More option opens the Course Administration page. Most of these items were in the Administration block in the EduLink courseware. To edit the course, select the Turn Editing On link. There are not too many differences between EduLink and Avenue here. The editing icons appear in the Topics area of the course and in each block. Course blocks can no longer be docked as in EduLink courses. They can still be hidden from students, but no longer can they be temporarily hidden while you edit. Adding topics to your course is much quicker with the Add Topics icon at the bottom of the Course Topics page. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see the link. This is very important to remember as the option of adding topics or weeks in the editing course settings is no longer available in Avenue. As you can see, there are not many changes within the courses from EduLink to Avenue. In the Avenue text editor, similar to EduLink's text editor, there are few changes. If we open an activity, we can see that the text editing toolbar has a more contemporary appearance. In the top left corner of the toolbar, 
we still have the Show Hide Advanced Buttons icon. It just appears now in Avenue as a downward pointing arrow rather than two rectangles as before. If we click on the Show Hide Advanced Buttons icon, you can see that the features are very similar to EduLink. Watch for more videos to come that will cover new features and additions to the Avenue services. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we wish you all the best with your Avenue courses.